It's a mystery on the seacoast, a 75-foot vintage Navy gunboat that's twice broken from moorings since last fall. For days at a time, she's been seen drifting slowly along the seacoast's waterways, engineless and captainless. It's a big, white, ugly ghost ship. No one seemed to know who owned the rebellious vessel. There's a lot of rumors going around about that boat. They said it came off the coast of Florida and a bunch of Haitians got drowned in it and they brought it up here, it, all kinds of stuff. Before anyone looked too much into it, we just enjoyed the tales, was uh, my favorite was it was going to be blown up in a Denzel Washington movie. But there is no movie. There are no ghosts. Guest list owners who wintered in Brazil had plans to install motors in the boat over the winter, but hit a streak of bad luck. They were then going to hire us to put the motors in, and that never happened. So since then, it was sitting out by the bridge. Port Authority wanted it moved inside for the winter so that if it did break the mooring, it didn't get near the bridge or anything. So it was moved inside. And then it broke all the chains. And High tides moved the vessel into the marshlands in Hampton, creeping slowly but surely toward waterfront homes. Finally, in February, the boat was grounded with a hole in its hull. Since then, guest list has become an eyesore and a continued concern when the tides and storms come in. And that's probably the biggest danger because you just don't know. That could be picked up and bashed into a house depending on what size storm we get. Guest list is expected to be hauled to Newburyport in the next few weeks. So we'd like to see it go. We had our fun. The summer's here. I want my sunset back. In Hampton, Suzanne Roundtree, WMUR News 9.